Hey YouTube, this is Torto here in our video. And today in this video I'm doing a review on Avengers Endgame. So I actually just woke up and yeah, now I'm talking about, about Avengers Endgame. So I'm probably going to forget a bunch of things, but... Um, yeah, first thing I want to start out with, uh, with is if you go back to like Age of Ultron and some of the older, like, just Marvel MCU movies with Thanos in it, he'll actually look... Thanos will actually look way different. So like... Um, uh, Thanos comparison... Um, so yeah, uh, there will be spoilers in this video. Okay, so this is just how Thanos looks. And just do Age of Ultron. Is that Age of Ultron? Ultron? I don't know. Like, he just looks way different. He has a way thicker face and stuff. Um, um, so yeah. Anyways, uh, going into the review, I already wasted a minute just talking about how Thanos looks. So this one, it was kind of cool. I liked to see. I liked uh, seeing Korg and Meek uh, playing Fortnite. It wasn't very funny though, um, but I guess it's fine. Um, and yeah, I like seeing Korg and Meek. And the the ending battle, though, is very, 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 very similar to Game of Thrones Season 8, Episode 3. The ending battle. Um, uh, very similar. I guess I'll say in this one, because I can't really say in Game of Thrones. Because, yeah, so. Basically, in Game of Thrones, um, the White Walkers, they disintegrate and stuff. And Arya Stark is the one that kills the big bad, the Night King. But in this one, it's Tony Stark that kills the big bad. Um, and all the bad guys disintegrate because he snaps, right? Um, but instead, this one, Tony Stark dies. So yeah, it kind of sucks that Tony died. Um, I'm kind of going like out of order in uh, this review. Because uh, Natasha Romanoff does die first. <laughs> um, well, before him, but yeah. Uh, so Tony dies in the end, Iron, Iron Man, and it's kind of cool to hear him say, I am Iron Man, just like he did in the very first one, and yeah, it's really sad, uh, at first, I didn't understand the reference where it says, to prove that Tony Stark had a heart, um, I was like, what, that's kind of like, made it seem like, kind of made the funeral seem like, really funny, but then, I, I figured out that it's, the reason why, it's because Pepper, uh, in the very first one, she, or second one, I don't know, she did that, so she put that thing on, uh, the words on, so on the arc reactor, Iron Man's arc reactor, so yeah, now I get it. And going to Ramanoff's death, uh, Black Widow, it was kind of sad, like, it's either Hawkeye or, or Black Widow, and ever, and the, I'm pretty sure the producers knew that uh, Black Widow was more popular than Hawkeye, so they chose Black Widow to die instead. Um, I've also heard that news that Scarlett Johansson will not play herself in the Black Widow movie. I said it's Emma Watson. I really hope that's incorrect, but yeah, as a prequel. Um, and yeah, and after they show the body, I'm like, what? Why do you have to show the body? It's like, come on. Um, that was kind of sad. I didn't cry at all. When Thor, I mean, when Captain America had the hammer and anything, I didn't yell. I'm not like, oh. like I was quiet throughout the whole movie, basically. It's just like... It wasn't the greatest movie, but it wasn't, it wasn't the worst. Like, there wasn't really any flaws in it. But it's just, I don't know, it didn't appeal to me as much as other movies do. Um, so, yeah, Captain America having uh, the hammer at the same time, I don't really care. I liked it, though, when Thor was like, here, you take the little one, and uh, I take the big one, or whatever. But you would think he would want the little one, though, because he's always had it, though. So, yeah. And there was a scene with his mom and everything. That was really cool. Time travel. I don't really want to explain how the time travel works in Avengers Endgame. It's a little bit weird. It's a little bit it's different than other things. Um, I really like the ending uh, with Captain America. Um, how he gives Falcon the shield and stuff. And it's kind of like... Um, when Falcon's like, it doesn't seem like mine or whatever. Uh, you would think he would give it to Bucky, but no, he doesn't give it to Bucky. So some people are like, oh, Bucky should have gotten it. So, which I kind of think he should have because... Uh, Captain America has known Bucky for longer, but I think it'd be cool to see basically a flying Captain America in the skies. Um, so yeah, uh, Thanos, yeah, he was kind of just, 
died immediately, immediately, like five minutes in the movie, and it's just. I know because the main villain was supposed to be Fan Thanos from Age of Ultron, so in the past, but like it's just kind of like what? He was so fierce and in Infinity War, and then he just dies immediately. Immediately, even though he let himself die, basically. But I don't know. I don't really like it. Um, so I guess there are some flaws, but it's not really a big flaw. Uh, and yeah, I did like the Nebula fight and stuff. Honestly, I like Nebula way more than Gamora. Gamora and uh, Star Lord now. They're going to have to like re reunite. Uh, um, they're gonna have to like know who each other are. Who like what's it? What's the word like? Get together again because it's the Gamora from the past, so she doesn't know Star Lord yet. Um. So yeah, uh, Spider Man. Um, him, he didn't even know where to go when he had the gauntlet and stuff. He didn't know what to do. He was just going around. Um, and I liked how when, uh, Tony was dying, Peggy is just, like, kind of like, okay, buddy, it's my turn. And, like, get out of here. And he's kind of just, like, she didn't throw him, but she kind of did in a way. Um, but she took it very well, too, with Tony's death. So, yeah. I'm just, I'm just going to stop, uh, rambling. This was a good movie. Hope you guys enjoyed. Subscribe for more episodes.